the space race. Now, in case you didn't know what the space race was, it was a little tussle between the U.S. and the Soviet Union back before it was dissolved by the Gorbachev guy, uh, Mikhail Gorbachev. If you want to uh, know more about him, don't go here because we haven't covered it yet. Today, we're going to be looking at the space race. On September 12th, 1962, John F. Kennedy gave a speech. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Conquest of space is worth the risk of lives because it can change our civilization. Now, uh, only about a year later, he was assassinated, but his effects are felt even to this day. How? Well, through the space race. Well, well, what, how did the space race happen? Because the space race happened because the USA and Russia went to an armed race to see who could develop... Let me see here... Ballistic missiles that could reach in outer space? This must either be nonsense or I am dreaming, man. So they wanted to develop ballistic missiles, apparently, via the space race. I have no idea why they wanted to do that, but sure, sure. And <clears throat> probably because of World War II. And they had just started the Cold War as well, I believe. Initially, Russia was succeeding by a lot. USA had a perspective that, uh, that Russia was just some nation, a backwards nation, 1900s, the 1800s. However, they were very wrong, very, very wrong. When they, uh, the Soviets launched two uh, satellites in a one-month time span, in a two-month time span. The first of them was Sputnik the first, or Sputnik one, as we call it. It was a probe that uh, went around, orbited around the globe for 70 days uh, before burning up in the atmosphere, beeping. Uh, I'm pretty sure there were some myths out there that uh, say that it sent out a radio signal 